Here are the names for Satan. So if you want to take a moment to pause and read, you need to know his names because he, he will de deceive you in all kinds of ways, even in his own name. So he has many names. And here's all the reference. You, you can look at all the scriptures where it talks about these names that are given to the enemy. So now we know about the enemy. So now we can move further into the seven churches. So it's nice to know that out of the seven churches, there's two that are not really doing anything wrong. And that we can only hope that that could be us. So we should pray to be like those two churches to have zero complaints, you know. But um, also being repentive if we are doing anything of the other churches because that is the only way that our garments are going to be made and kept clean without spot or stain because Jesus, once you repent, cleanses you. You know, when you had to atone for your sin, you had to go to the temple and you had to continuously put your sin upon the lamb to sacrifice so that your sins will make, be carried out. So in the same way, you have to go to Jesus and lay your hands on him and repent of your sins so he can carry it out for you. It will not be taken if you do not go to him. You know, that's why no one goes to the Father except through the Son, Jesus. So that's all I have to say about this lesson. I hope that this was very refreshing for you. But most of all, always keep the armor of God on. We need to keep this armor of God on so that we may able to fight the good fight and to have faith and endurance to the very end. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And then next week, um, we will go deeper into our studies. I'm like all over the place here. So next week, the next church is uh, Paragram. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Paragram. So we'll be moving into Paragram. And we'll be learning a little bit what's going on in that church. And we'll be reflecting, making sure that we are not following in what they're doing. And if we are, this is a time to repent. Repent and turn and cleanse yourself. 